Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another review of Link Eat Love Soul. This episode, I would say, it was a heartbreaking one. It really was. After learning more of the truth on what happened 18 years ago, learning about Boki's uh, side of the story, I mean, you can't help but just feel sad, feel the guilt, and yeah, let's not beat around the bush. Let's get to it. So when it comes to the romance, it was barely there, but in a good way though, because it wasn't just seeing Dion and Gaon act all lovey-dovey, it was more of seeing their relationship, being able to withstand whatever obstacles that comes. And this is one of the obstacles. I mean, if you were Dion and you just remembered, oh wait, me and your sister were abducted, but I left her behind to die. If you were Gaon, what would you do? And Dion, she felt that guilt and she wanted to break up with Gaon. But Gaon loves her so much that he wasn't going to let that happen. So this episode revealed what happened 18 years ago from Boki's side of the story. So first, Boki was working overtime, trying to make ends meet. Didn't even know that her daughter was kidnapped. Some random guy was trying to take her away, but Boki came in time. So the mystery man was trying to kill Jungo. But Boki killed him to try to save her friend. So this is definitely the murder that Boki was talking about where she said, I've killed somebody before. Let's not forget that Dion was trying to remember what Gaeyoung told her 18 years ago. She was trying to remember throughout the episode until now. So she told her that there was more than two people part of the kidnapping. That little piece of information definitely adds on to not only the mystery, but how tense the situation is now, and definitely more questions. Who else was involved? I mean, just when you thought the mystery guy and Jingen was it? No, there's more. And, and now it's to the point where I'm going to suspect the grandma now, even though she has nothing to do with it. But who else is involved? So this episode was great. Um, Boki's confession was definitely heartbreaking. Knowing that a mother who was working overtime to make ends meet didn't even know that her daughter was kidnapped. And just to add on to that, she had to kill somebody. Her confession was crazy. And now I'm starting to think, what's her and Dion's relationship going to be now once she revealed this shocking truth? And speaking of relationship, yeah, the romance it was barely there. Dion and and Gaon were almost broken up at one point, but it was more of their relationship being able to withstand certain obstacles. And the situation they're in, this is one hell of an obstacle. And yeah, that's pretty much it on the review and the episode. Is there anything I might have missed? Please leave it in the comments below. Other than that, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.